Hey, you guys are back. Great. Well, these three are arguing now. Very loudly, I, I might add. So now we have to resolve that. I hope I can. Oh, that's a great place to stop. All right. Mass panic debate, start. To, uh, look at Mew again. I need to start. I need to sort out everyone's statements like, like just like Kaede did. I need to calm down, focus on one at a time. Uh, I got the. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room. Core rules, Maki alone. Uh. Hold on. Last person who saw Ryoma was going to. It was around 8 p.m. Three minutes. Right. Okay. This this is the one. Try again. Gotcha. I heard and saw it actually. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Kirumi spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was around it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking, and finally let me go at at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour. Well, only the first half hour was a lecture. Then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m. and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie five minutes before nine o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till nine o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Well, you could have said it yourself, though, couldn't you, Kirumi? Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Let's move past that. I, I, I do not have the time. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you were telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. I mean, that's possible. Transported him to the gym and hid him in the piranha tomb. This seems highly unlikely. 
Yeah, but what if you with the flash? Or the reverse flash, actually. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. And we should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mio, Kaito, and Maki! Don't just say it like that. I'm sure Mio is. Including me too. You kind of have to be, but I'm sure you're innocent, Mio. And even if you are guilty, I'll still back you up. But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Oh, uh, who yourself? Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. Uh, to be fair, I. It kind of does rule them out of the suspect list. One person can be eliminated as a suspect, according to Kokichi. Wouldn't be Kokichi himself? That, 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 that's what I was thinking. If he if he was within um um eyesight, I'm say like earshot, but um you know Kirumi saw him. That gives him an alibi, but, but who, um, going to himself? Real quick, I turned up the volume on the game just in case, because I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make, but I did. I did notice that the volume was kind of low in the uh, other video, so I just did a bit. Here's what I'm talking about that figure he saw. They certainly would have an alibi. Or was it Mew? Because I think Kokichi, yeah, it's Mew. We need to pin down who that was. The key to that fact lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Mew's statements. According to what we know, that figure the cunt m saw must be, it was Mew. It's Mew. That's it. about Mew, right? No, oh, whoops. Uh, you? Playing Dragon Quest recently. I'm, I was used to the text box advancing on its own. Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. See ya! Suck it, nerd! <laughs> Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? Ask Gonta, apparently. Oh yeah, I did, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Something odd? I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was. I saw her walk around for a bit. Like, if we didn't know that it was this was Kurumi, I uh, Kurumi, uh, Mew, that would be kind of scary as fuck, I think, just seeing someone wandering around like that in the middle of the night. Oh, I couldn't have been fully naked. Who else could it be? But the horny exhibitionist Mew. Yeah. It could have been Tenko. Oh wait, that'll make her a degenerate, wouldn't it? Then I hope it was Tenko. We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? More or less, even but walking around in women's underwear. Even me. Well. Uh, I don't think so. No, it's me, without a doubt. You and Gonta's statements prove it. Oh, good guy Gonta see me, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta could not bring her. Your face got hot? You mean you were hot in her trail, right? No, um, she used her. What'd she call it? Secret weapon. A secret woman weapon. And then. 
Hmm? Uh, oh, uh, well, I, uh, I had to use my secret woman weapon, and let's just leave it at that. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? I figured she just stripped to her underwear or something. Oh. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I guess. I mean, you know, show me. I don't doubt you, I'm just... Good for you, Mew. Hey. I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Cool. I'm gonna screen cap that later. There's hentai of this somewhere. So Gonta ran away. Ah, Gonta. Well, when he got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. Now that I think about it, she looks a lot like Junko. I show my panties to the boys all the time. Why? Also, then why are you so embarrassed? Fucking liar. You're lying. Yes, you can see the veins in, this, in the back of his hand. Think of me during your next tug session. Oh, well, you heard her. She gave permission, so. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yeah, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Mew is so much like a character that I'm working on. Not exactly the same, but very close. And there we go. Everybody's alibis are recorded, updated. That leaves Kaito and Maki. The only ones with no alibis. Maki says she was in her lab the entire time, but as it was pointed out, that can't exactly be proven. And no one knows where the hell Kaito was. He says he was in the girl's bathroom, but again, you can't prove it. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Decide just yet. Two prime suspects. Kaito and annoying Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaito. Well, because you want to be friends with the guy, that's why. So I don't know. I want to believe Kaito. Until he's proven guilty, I will trust him. I mean, I guess, I mean, yeah, that's logical, man. He doesn't have an alibi exactly, but nothing says he did it either. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. No, we should do something that's logical, not just fun. <sighs> what? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. How so? And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? 
Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. They'll both do that, won't they? Yes, that is true. <laughs> just the eye roll. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Yes, Digimon Emperor. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? Yeah, exactly. And... It doesn't get us anywhere. Fuck, I hate him. Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? All right. He's got a point. Shuichi even said he didn't want to blame Kaito. If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Still, though, what you're suggesting doesn't get us anywhere. They're just going to keep pointing fingers at, fingers at each other. The entire time and when they get that desperate they may even try to point fingers at someone else which i mean yeah granted you could say alibi or anything but like still they, they could they're gonna say or do whatever they can to try to exonerate themselves it, it doesn't it doesn't help us only then will they reveal their true self as a liar hiding beneath a layer of deceit Man, I really wish Derek Stephen Prince didn't play this role so well, because I fucking hate this guy. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's push an argument that's totally not boring but super fun! We'll get some comfort in our lives when we find a contradiction. The ultimate supreme leader. Yeah, the logic. The, the logic is not unsound. Oh, yeah, how do you know that? Of course you'd agree with them. Yep, I don't agree. Don't say that. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? His own side, obviously. I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. Are you, are you sure about that? That's why we need to take this seriously. Possibly to smoke out the light. <laughs> God damn it, Derek Super Prince. You are just A rank. Do you know that? And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is this! Ta -da! Of course he has it. He did say he wanted to get them. Is it upside down? Isn't that the camera on the bottom? Or do you, is that, uh, was this designed with the camera on the bottom? Not just any cups, Dad, but the one given to our latest victim, Green Helmet. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow all right. So what's on it? So it 
wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. Yeah, you went to get all of them, remember? You don't remember him saying that? And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! Ugh. One of these two had it? Uh, now you're both quiet. All right. All right. Maybe he was actually right about this. That, yeah, it actually is one of the two of them. And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? I'm gonna guess Kaito. The motive video that Ryoma had, is it Kaito's or Maki's? I should know the answer. Are you, you think you know? Here, here's the thing. Honestly, I actually do believe Maki when she says she stayed in her lab the entire time. I honestly believe her in that because because of the fact she refused to leave, seemingly at least, but she also refused to let anyone in the lab or to even see what's behind the door when she opens it. For whatever reason, she wants to stay in there, and honestly, I believe that. Kaito... I mean, technically speaking, he's unaccounted for. Now, he claims he went into the girl's bathroom and stayed there until he went back to his dorm room. Mm. But again, we can't prove that, though. I, technically speaking, we can't prove Maki's, Ma, what Maki was saying was true either. But like I said, I, I kind of believe her on that, considering her behavior up to this point. And I'm thinking... I mean, if, if I'm wrong about this, I'm wrong. But I'm thinking the reason that Kaito wanted to be so pally with Shuichi was because he wanted to throw off the, the scent on him. Like, maybe if he was able to get Shuichi on side, he wouldn't suspect him during the class trial. That's my guess. That's, that's just a big wild mass guess there. But let's see. Oh boy, you want me to guess? Damn, no, I got to catch my video. Uh, well, yeah. Wait, Kaito had would have Ryoma's video though. Sure, it wasn't Kaito. What? No one knows. Not even the ultimate detective. Man, that's totally disappointing. Was it Maki? Is that, is that what she wanted anyone inside? Uh, that was my second guess. Like, maybe she has the video, but she didn't want anyone to see that she had it. That's it. it is Maki. It was Maki's motive video, right? Oh, wait, you know, I, got, I, I got it mixed up. I, 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 got, I completely got it mixed up. What, what video did Ryoma have? That was the question. I was thinking, did Kaito have Ryoma's video? Okay. That, well, easy mistake to make, but I made it. Oh, how did you ever guess? I took a second guess. That's how. Oh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Yeah. Process of elimination wins again. Answer was Maki, right? Probably figured it out if I was paying close enough attention. Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. 
part of the motor video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. This extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. Wait, what are you trying to do? Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Kaito, I want to believe you, but at the same time, that's not a convincing argument. Which means... Isn't she cute? I can wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... Maki isn't a culprit either. You don't think so? What? All right. Huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. Okay, man. Okay, so so tell so tell us, what are you basing that on? It's just a hunch I've got. <sighs> uh, a hunch? Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Yeah, he actually sounds a little worried. Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. What? <laughs> How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. Wait, is that Johnny Young Bosch again? Hmm. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> you know, this isn't the place for this. I, I can talk about this some other time, I guess, but like... That sort of thing is why I've like grown to really dislike shonen manga protagonists for the most part. Just the generally dumb, happy-go-lucky personality that they all have. I don't know, it gets kind of tiresome after a while. But that's neither here nor there. I'm just saying Kaito was a lot like that. Anyway... <laughs> I'm so a damned idiot. Don't say that. Hey, don't call me an idiot. Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. I mean, even though we have security footage of her actually committing the murder. What? You believe in her? Like, based on what? it on anything no matter where the clues point in the end the only thing that matters is what i believe right no that's not no not at all <laughs> like i said we have security footage of her doing it she admitted to doing it whether i believe or not whether i want to believe or not that's the only thing that matters it dude it really isn't so you do not have any evidence. Clearly. Only baseless conjecture. Obviously. But I totally get where he's coming from. Because I want to believe in Himiko too. <sighs> well, I don't think Himiko or Maki did it. Want to believe, huh? Yeah. I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. 
However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot, after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. Yeah, but... Guys, I said don't call me an idiot! Really hurts my feelings. I can relate. <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaito? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but... If I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. Eh, that's still dumb logic, though. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaito's feelings, too. Yeah. It'll work out in the end, so... Yeah, it'll work out in the end because the game was written for it to, to work out in the end. <laughs> I mean, it's like... It's like it's like the same thing. I think this is the, is the same thing, actually. Like with Makoto and Hajime in the first two games. They wanted so much to believe in their friends. And they turned out, they turned out to be right in the end. But like the game was written for them to be right. Any other situation, they would have been completely wrong. Yeah. All right, let's move forward. I'll believe in Maki as well. Of course you will. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. True. They believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way. I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. Right? You'll get there. Shouldn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. You'll get there. What now, you fucking cunt? How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Oh, I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! Well, stop being one. <laughs> What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. All right. So I'll tell you. Oh, tell us what? Why you wouldn't let anyone in your lab, I'm guessing? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. Oh. What? Oh, shit. Well then, Shuichi and Kaito, uh, what do you two have to say now? And that's what we thought. Yeah, this opens it all back up again. That's right. 
right. Everyone suspected them because they know have alibis for those times. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Quit fucking around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention it? Uh, I would actually do anything. <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? She wouldn't do that, would she? I don't know, did she? True, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all the times? <sighs> Maybe it is a lie? Because right before she said that, she said she um said all I have to do is turn it around, right? Like as if she was trying to figure out Like like she's thinking that the debate between her and Kaito will be inevitable, so she's trying to figure out a way to yeah, again, like, turn it back around to, to Kaito. If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Oh, now you want to do this? Oh, come on. Nah, let's keep going. <laughs> Monica, it's missing. <laughs> it seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Wait a second. What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. <laughs> oh, man, you're right. Silly me. I'm so forgetful. Wow. I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Well, anyway, let's just give this trial and jump ahead to, to Chapter 3. Uh... Oh, we can. I mean, I kind of want to know who did it. What are you Wait a second. We don't know the culprit yet. Oh. Yeah. Who killed Rontaro? It was Kaede. Ugh. That was Chapter 1's case. How can you be this forgetful? I think so, Monodam. <laughs> Monokuma's arms look weird. I don't know, like the full body shot of him is just kind of weird sometimes. Mm, we'll see. Ah, Square's been losing a lot recently. I mean, Final Fantasy 16 may turn things around for them, but like. One good game in yeah, three console generations is not a good sign. You know, not counting Final Fantasy XIV's um, relaunch. Is that... Uh, I'm blanking, blanking on his damn name. Um... He's fucking playing Orochimaru right now. He plays Death the Kid. Why am I blanking on his name? What movie are you talking about? Wow. What does that mean? It's definitely Todd Haberkorn. That's that's the name. He's playing Monotaro now. I didn't notice it before. He doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument like this one. <laughs> I swear to you, Monosuke is going to be the next one to be killed. 
We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just gonna throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Shut the fuck up. More ones to talk. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? We kind of confirmed that already, didn't we? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Mm -hmm. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Okay, well let's check them. Let's check them all right now, honestly, Maki at this point. Earlier that she hadn't checked her cubs pad. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? Good point. If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. So did he ask anyone else? me he probably never asked you guys either right why would he we only didn't care about himself well not as much as he probably should have but i, I don't think he would do this either honestly who was it that told Ryoma about his cubs pack? who told Ryoma that maki had his motive video that'd be someone who knew who, who had each pad Kokichi, I guess? Because he said he had them all, didn't he? He didn't say he actually looked at them, though, but he said he had them. It's you! Mm hmm. That would be Kokichi. Yeah. Cubs pads! Gotta catch them all! I even got the pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch the motive video. So you saw the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? Mm-hmm. When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Thank you, thick thigh Tenko. Which probably proves your point. What happened then, Maki? After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Hey, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? But she doesn't stay in that room anyway, though, right? She stays in her lab. And then what happened? from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Yeah, look it up, pal. Why did you wait until now to bring that up? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. No one ever is in the mood to be suspected. But this would have cleared you. Didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? 
It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe my... Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! Shut up. No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm... Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. Hmm. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi, did you tell Ryoma? Oh, now you want to be quiet. And you're sweating, too. You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Answer the question. I already know the answer, but answer the question. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. That's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? I assume he did. No, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted like a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm. Well, how would you check? How would you know who's ha who has whose unless you actually looked at them? The the, the cups pads aren't marked with anyone's names, are they? I, I don't think they were. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. Well, I said before, I didn't suspect her to be the culprit because of how antisocial she is. No, we cannot be too sure about that yet. Why do you Even think that? Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. Do you still suspect her? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie or not lie? She's not lying. Can't you tell just by looking at her? It was that easy when she's done by now. No, this is a world of lies and betrayal. Mimiko, it breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things. <laughs> I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. Uh, she didn't wait too long to say anything about it. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying. Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. Ah. So you admit it. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during that time. I'm telling the truth. Well, Shuichi, what do you think? Is it a lie? Or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of, the of this case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaito. And that means believing in Maki. And that means I have to do it. I need this all on the same page. Oh, so I'm gonna lie again? Kaede lied in the last um, trial to get everyone to, get, to get everyone, everyone in, in the right direction. So you're gonna lie here? You're gonna say that you saw it happen or something? 
I have to change where this argument is going. Just like how I did it, yep. So I'm gonna lie now. You know, like a liar. I can't say the two of them met now. That's too obviously. That's obviously. That's too obvious a lie. Here's the thing. All right. So like I said, I do believe that Ma I, I I don't believe that Maki did it. But at this point, I think she is lying about meeting Ryoma. But again, she didn't do it. But she can't exactly prove that she didn't do it. So if I can convince them that Maki met up with someone. Let's see, Maki alarm, Maki saying guard party last time. It's night time. Go into his account. Didn't the match show. This is annoying. Uh, okay, that's that. Yeah, Maki alarm's the one. Damn. So it's the other one. Why don't you wait until now to reveal that you saw Ryoma? There's no reason to keep that information to yourself. Unless you are lying, that is. Oh, lovely Kirumi. S stop being so astute. Eh, just gonna keep them all. I don't understand. Does that mean Maki met no one that night? If she met with if she met with no one, then she certainly did not meet with Ryoma. Uh, right, let me let me cloud two. I don't think any of these work, though. You know, the old standby, right? All right, let me look this up. Hold on. 
Oh, okay, that's it. Whoops. God damn it. Uh. Right, that's how you make it a lie. Ow. Son of a bitch! You're not my lie. There we go. Perjury! <laughs> Did it say that last time? Oh yeah. Oh, please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meeting group, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Yeah, please don't say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? Mm-hmm. We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Very nice. And Maki did meet up. Maybe. No, no, hold up. Why'd you sit on that info for so long? That's an excellent question. Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Leona, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. <laughs> and you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? Well, let's say this actually is true. Why would they? It was a private conversation between the two of them, right? Why would they why would they butt in? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. It's been kind of a busybody, isn't it? We are still part of a killing game after all. Alright, fair point. Whoa, whoa, chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? Oh, I'll tell that to Samwise Gamgee. I wouldn't do something so uncool. <laughs> anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Yes, but you are Shuichi. Then Gota will believe friends. Oh, that's not a good thing to do right now. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? Well, prove him wrong, Mew. Prove that he's lying. But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Well. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Alright. They each shall set you free. Shut up. I'd be so 
surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes, telling the truth. Yes, Mew. Feet picks are definitely re required for this case. Believe me. It's me, Shuichi. Why would I lie about that? Now, come on. I have this red camera that I want to use. You think he knows? All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. In other words, me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. Right. I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So, everyone is culprit again? It should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well, good question. So it must have been the next morning. But... That's not possible. Nico and I were at the gym, remember? Mm, yeah. So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? No, that was right. Because Gonta and Kumi both saw it. I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. And when did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? Oh, man. Could it have been before the gym was locked? That's something I can. That's the only thing I can, I can think of. But like everyone's from, for the most part, everyone's accounted for before. Yeah, I don't know. When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. If it couldn't have been the morning after, after, that leaves. Time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Do you think the person who do you think the, the culprit stayed in the gym after nighttime? Like just let just let themselves get locked into the gym? And then what maybe hid until no no nickname Angie and non magical girl Himiko came in? She's so proud of herself for saying that too. Dick cheese. But that's the only possibility. Because by morning we were already at the gym. Didn't the two of you leave very briefly to go get everyone and then come back? I mean, very slim time uh, frame to, to get his body in there, but I mean. It's either the culprit locked themselves in the gym at night, which I don't know how that wouldn't raise any alarms with Monokuma, or when everyone, when everyone was being gathered to go to, to the gym, that's when the culprit stashed his body. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. Wow, Himiko, that's fascinating. What a terrible title for a guard. <laughs> Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at night time. Himiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. Uh, I don't even play baseball. That's it, it's a it's a metaphor. Non magical girl, Himiko. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Disagreement? You mean you're split down the middle again? Great. Then the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. And all of a sudden, Johnny Young Bosch had very bad flashbacks. Alright, I have no idea where this is going, but what do you say we take a break right now and pick this up again some other time? Oh boy, I'm trying to figure it out myself. I don't know. Either when everyone... No, but then again, but no, but I think Himiko and Angie stayed in the, the gym though, right? I think they sent other people to go gather the other students to come to the gym, but they stayed... I said it before, like... I said this like a while ago. But maybe there's like an outside chance that someone tossed Ryoma's body through the window from the pool into the tank. But, uh, I don't know. All right, look, we'll take a break for right now. We'll pick this up again some other time. We'll see what happens next. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later.